Hello, everyone. My name is Mia Chen. Today is my pleasure to present you my digital media capstone project. This project, I designed a web platform for sharing and managing resources, and it, this one is specifically designed for a high-end tutoring service called GPA Butler. I have been working for this organization for over a year as a tutor in economics. So in the later demo, you will see a lot of examples in like microeconomics and macroeconomics because that's what I thought. Um, as a tutor, I always ask myself, how do I know that my student really understand and remember the concept after they approach me? Uh, with a homework question. How do I measure their performance? How can I help them to be more independent? How can I record their learning process and ideally deliver them to their parents because their parents pay for the service, right? According to my user research, the parents want to be kept updated every week. They want to know whether the service is worth it and uh, what they can do to help, to help us. What's more, I noticed some necessary frictions that can potentially be reduced. For example, the students should provide the tutors with educational documents such as their uh, lecture slides, homework, exams on a regular basis. But the tutors have to always impersonally like, text them to ask for these documents. I talked to many other tutors. They share the same concerns. With these pen points, I have done my competitor research. I figured that we don't really need anything complicated. We just need something that can solve all of these problems. And we need something that's designed specific for us. Without further ado, let's jump into the web application. So the first step, the student cannot create an account on their own. They have to ask for advisor. The advisor as the admin, they will go to user management, um, create, register a new user, then type in some necessary information, for example, their email address, create a default password for them, choose it's a student or a tutor, then type in the course name, course information, course number, and then assigned a tutor to the student. Click submit. Great. The student information will be saved in the database. The advisor can also switch the tutor for the students. Simply go to the student's profile. It's also in user management panel. Um, click on assign or change tutor and just click on the tutor, that's it, it will be saved to the database. Also, if the advisor go to dashboard, they can view like what tutors are available and how their data are uh, in the dashboard. So the student's profile has already been created. The student can log in. Once they log in, they will see their profile page. They can make changes here. Uh, for example, edit what high school are they, reset the password, uh, write a one sentence description, etc. Um, so click save, everything will be saved to the database. Dashboard section. Uh, here is a student view. First of all, the student can use the drop-down menu to switch between classes. We have two data visualization here. The first one is GPA checking. So every time when the student um, have a test or a quiz, she can he or she can uh, submit the grade here so that as the time goes, we know how uh, he or she improved. Um, second data visualization is time spent. So using that pie chart, the student can see how much time she spent with each tutor. We also show how many credits left. Um, so if she, if like she only have two hours left, she can like use this PayPal to pay for the service. We also have a quick meeting scheduling system with the tutor. Just use the drop down menu to select the tutor, click schedule, and you just pick a time that the tutor available. Uh, you will automatically create a Zoom link. So this one is the quick feedback, just three questions, very sim simple questions. Um, we, we need a student to provide feedback 
for us so that we know how well the tutor do. Document section is a place where students and tutors um, share and organize documents with each other. Uh, there are several views like table view and car view. They can uh, click on these buttons to um, filter the documents. Um, uh, to upload a document, just type on the document name, what kind of document it is, tag it, um, pick the document you want to upload and upload success so the document will be shown there they can also click download to quickly download the document or view it like this during the tutoring section the student always asks me questions but i want to make sure that after i um giving out answers they really master the concept so what i do is every time when they ask me a question for example big o um I will go to the learning section, create a concept card. Um, for example, the student asked me a question about Big O. So the concept card title will be Big O. Then I give, I prepare a question about Big O and answer. Um, read the student's understanding. This time, I, I feel like any kind of understand Big O, but not quite. So her rating is three. Then from Annie's perspective, she go to learning section, she will see this card and then try to answer the question, submit it. I, uh, I as a tutor, I will receive the concept, her answer, um, I will grade it. For example, this time, I feel like, okay, she um, and, uh, answered the question correctly, but there's another thing about Big O. So I rate it four out of five, um, prepare another question about Big O for her, um, asking her to keep answering. Maybe next time she answered it correctly, then I feel like okay. So she finally like fully understand the the the, the whole concept of of Big O. So I will give her uh five out of five stars. Um. So this concept card will be archived. So this kind of interaction is what happened after the tutoring section when student can do in her or she's free time. All of these interactions will be recorded um, and maybe presented to the parents, telling them that um, your kid is like making progress, is, um, is overcome a lot of like difficulties in the learnings. So the advisor can also see like all the information of the student, for example, the GPA of all the classes, how the student improved uh, the interaction between students and the tutor. The advisor can just take screenshot of everything, send it to the parents. They can also uh, add credits to the students when they like when they get paid. Uh, advisor can also see all the information about the tutors, like how much time they spend with each student, blah, blah, blah. Also, the tutor, uh, the tutor's dashboard is very similar to the student's dashboard. The only difference is like the tutor can not only report the GPA of the student, but also report section, like tutoring section with a student. Just typing the time from what time to what time, uh, what's the meeting, what's that tutoring section about, report it. Then all of this information will be feed to, for example, the time span pie chart. It will also be sent it to the treasurer and advisor so that these tutors, they can be paid accordingly. In the dashboard, um, the tutor can also quickly uh, schedule a meeting with a student. Uh, they can also like leave feedback to the students because the, the tutor needs to submit <laughs> feedback to the students too, right? So let's, I think that's about it. That's all the uh, information about um, this web application. I wish you enjoy this video. Mm. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.